I want to welcome you to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we're going to take a close look at the Hori Mario Kart official licensed racing wheel. We're going to see what are actually going to get and how basic is it. I'm just going to be saying already, this is going to be a wheel going back all the way to the 90s where we didn't have any, let's say, cool fancy things like force feedback or rumble function. This is just super basic. It's just very dirty cheap. But is it actually fun to play with the racing wheel from Hori? And that's the question that I wanted to answer today. Then of course we do have a lot of cool fun novelties inside the machine itself. And yeah, we can play this thing on different kind of ways. It's also going to be quite fancy with programmable keys. That is a feature not every single wheel has. So I think it's pretty cool that they give you the option to basically map buttons to insert and let's say quick button on the middle of the wheel. <laughs> but let's start unboxing and let's see what we're going to get in the inside so first of all this is not a force feedback wheel so we don't need to have an extra power supply whatsoever also no batteries for rumble function we had back in the days no this is just pure old school racing with a spring in the inside later on i will show you what i mean so basically we do have two components the racing wheel itself and then we're having the absolutely tiny but cool looking pedals but how is the overall quality in general this thing is very light weighted it is like absolutely plastic fantastic but not the chemical stuff that we have seen from china itself so the overall quality is okay to be honest it's just a very tiny and also very cool wheel to see i really love the way they made the colors of the mario theme implemented it in the hori tiny wheel this is old school it is 180 degrees and it has just a basic let's say nice grip to it there is nothing let's say to looks out of it i find it very fascinating to see how they can actually make this for the money because you're not paying a lot for this the consideration also this is a basic wheel so i think if you want to get into the basic stuff like called racing this is just a fun thing the d-pad feels quite nice to be honest i think i can even play some street fighter with it but all the other buttons are like clickish buttons a little bit of a let's say in cheap feel to it and of course the middle one to assign the yellow buttons i think it's very cool that we have the option for that we do have shifters that are going to be convenient something i wanted to check out with some games if it's actually going to be any good then in the middle of the wheel we have the option to switch between the d-pad or the joystick and yeah this is going to be convenient if you need to navigate through the menu or in certain game you need to have like the joystick so we can switch between that at the bottom we're going to get some old school suction knobs of course they're not going to be working like this so let's give you an example how good it actually works when it comes to putting it on the table and it gives an absolutely great suction because this thing is very well placed with the four suction knobs so it's an easy solution but it works quite great i was quite surprised to see that we did have some pedals coming with this thing yeah there is nothing special about it because what you're going to get are just basic two pedals there is no resistance whatsoever for the brake so yeah this is as basic it can be it's fun that it has it because it makes it way more like very fun to play racing games with some gas and, and brake pedal both cables are long enough if you want to place the pedals under the table of course and you just plug it in with this old school foam cable connection so you need to plug in the device itself in your nintendo switch docking i think it's way easier of course because if you're going to mess around with cables it's going to be messy so if you don't have any connections and the joystick or in this case the racing wheel doesn't work what you need to do is go into the settings in settings and this is one of the two solutions we're having this is something you should consider if you're going to plug in any let's say usb device because this is, can be so much easier if you have any problems go to controllers and sensors and implement the pro controller feature when you're going to turn it on a lot of let's say inputs you're going to get with different controllers may work now that it didn't work before if this doesn't solve your solution what you can do is like looking into the switch on your racing wheel itself for me for this particular wheel that was the solution i've been messing with both of them and that's the way how you need to let's say activate your wheel but now it recognizes the right joystick and we can navigate through the menu so let's start with some super mario kart and let's see what are actually going to get and how does the game play 
I can tell you my first impression is that this game is a lot of fun to play with a wheel. I apparently choose it either over playing with a controller. You know, racing wheels are such a different way to play, but also the way how you just actually like interact. The dead zone, I really don't notice it at all, and I find the racing game is very direct on my racing wheel, so I don't have like input lag thing going on here. Absolutely great, and I just really love what's going on here. When it comes to Mario Kart, there are different ways to play. You can use the pedals, but you can use the buttons at the front. It's just how you personally prefer to play the game. I don't really like playing it when it comes to let's say, the buttons on the racing wheels. It feels so unnatural. That's the reason I love to have at least a pedal. But here you can see the left pedal has been set to brake and reverse and the right one for acceleration. Everything out of the box, plug and play works as a charm. If you are a big fan of racing wheels, I recommend checking out my Wicked Racing channel where I'm going to be dedicating everything to racing and wheels and everything that basically goes into this freaking rabbit hole because there is so much that we can talk about. It was just a quick unboxing and just showing you what you're actually going to get when actually playing Mario games. But there are so many different games out there that are even like more fun in my opinion sometimes. But how compatible are these racing wheels? That is what we're going to find out. Thank you all for watching, consider subscribing to the channels and it will be great to see you in the next video.